Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Hachi from Outback Guitars and I'll be showing you how to turn an acoustic into an electric. Alright, so you're only going to need three things to turn this acoustic into an electric and it'll only cost around $20. The first thing you need is a piezo disc, which looks like this, an air input jack and a resistor that ranges from around 150k onward. Alright, just for the purpose of teaching, I'm going to use jumper cables to wire this whole setup together. Later, I'll be soldering it in the guitar instead. Now, as well, I don't have a second red jumper lead, so in replace I'm going to use a green instead. So just remember that this one is also a positive. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is connect or solder, in your case, your positive lead to the positive lead on the piezo to either end of the resistor. After that, the other end of the resistor will then go to the positive part on the jack, which is the outer one. Another side note, the resistor can be wired either end because it is bipolar. This end of the resistor goes to the positive end on the jack. And finally, the negative, which is the inner lug on the jack and also the black wire on the piezo. Now, if all done correctly, once you plug in the jack, the piezo should be active. And a way to test that is by either tapping on it or just connecting it straight to the guitar. So, to test if the piezo works or not, simply just plug it in and turn the volume up on your amp. If you tap the piezo and it makes a noise, that means it's active and working. As shown, that's a good sign, which means it's working. To see if the piezo is working correctly, you need to place it on the guitar and strum. If it makes a noise through the amp, you know it's working correctly. Don't be afraid as well if it does make a buzzing noise because that's normal. Once you solder it and once it's placed firmly on the guitar, you will not have that problem. So this whole system, you can just tape it to your guitar or hot glue it if you don't want to drill a hole in it. But for me, I want to insert it, I don't want it seen. So I'm going to drill a hole and I'm going to install it myself. Now to start with, you want to pick where you want to drill the hole. I'm putting mine on the bottom surface sort of where the Tully guitar jack is. That's where I'm going to put it. I've already put my marks down in my measurements. Now I'm going to drill it. Remember, you want to start with a pilot hole because if you go with the big drill bit straight away, you can tear out your guitar. Now I'm moving up in size. If you have any minimal damage around the hole you just drilled, a washer that will be put over the jack will cover that up, so don't worry about that. So this is what my harness looks like after I've soldered it together. You've got your resistor down there, piezo and your jack. Okay, now it's time to put it in. So with your piezo, you want it glued directly under the bridge because that's where the vibration comes from most. I've got the guitar up on its side, so it's easier access for my hand to get behind the bridge. I'm going to use super glue because it sets quick and it's easier to maneuver in there instead of using a hot glue gun. To make things easier on myself, I've used an alligator clip and a cable to thread through the inside of the guitar so I can get the jack into place. All I have to do is connect the jack to the clip and Bob's your uncle. Come through like <sighs> no the thought was there now that everything's been done i'll play it acoustic and then we'll turn it to electric as you can see big difference
This is definitely out. Now overdrive. Um, overdrive. Why not? So that does it. That's how you turn your acoustic cool electric. Now, if you want to watch more videos like this, you probably won't, but leave comments down below because it really would help out. Remember, like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification if you want to see more content like this because it rarely pops up, so you want to know when it comes out. Very big apology. <laughs> we filmed this on a rainy day, so audio quality isn't the best, but if you keep watching this, maybe we'll put more videos out with better audio quality in the rain. Aww.